I know that buying fabric online can be really tricky because you can't actually touch or feel it before you purchase it, not to mention there's just so many options to choose from. Hey guys, I'm Tammy and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna share five different fabric shops that are online that I personally love to shop from. I'm also gonna share tips along the way to help you navigate shopping online so it's less overwhelming and you can buy fabric that's perfect for your projects. So whether you're new to sewing or you're an experienced sewist, these fabric shops that I'm gonna share are gonna be perfect if you want affordable and high quality fabric. I've got my laptop too, so I'm gonna go through and actually show you on screen how I shop for fabric. The first one that I'm gonna show you is a site called Minerva. Minerva is actually my go-to fabric shop. If I'm normally shopping for fabric online, I always check on Minerva first because I personally love them. As you can see, they have a quick shop section here, so you can go straight to different fabrics, threads, patterns, and all these different options here. I always normally just click onto fabrics, and then you can see they have so many different options for you to choose from. In general, whenever I am actually shopping for fabric, I always go with a specific purpose. So for example, if I wanna sew a dress pattern, I'll pick a dress pattern. I'm gonna use my rear dress pattern for an example. And for that pattern, I know that I need 2.5 meters of fabric. And to work well with this pattern, I normally choose a cotton or a woven fabric. This just means you can actually go to the website with a really specific purpose because it'll be much easier to navigate. So like I said, I know I want a cotton fabric. So I'm probably gonna go along here and find the word cotton. Sometimes they actually have different variations of cotton or different fabrics. I know down here that they have a lawn section, which is cotton lawn. If I click into that, you can see I have all these different types of options. There's literally hundreds. So it can take some time to go through and find the exact one that you like. But the reason why I personally love Minerva is because if you click on a fabric, I'm gonna click this Liberty London one. So the first thing you see is a nice big image of the fabric. You can actually see it moving slightly as well. It's not just a flat image. And then you can also see the price, the different colorways it comes into, and you can select the amount that you want. So this website I know sells it by the meter. So this means one meter fabric. You have to check on some other websites because sometimes one meter can actually mean half a meter. It will normally specify that, but I know Minerva doesn't do that. So one means one meter, and you can actually go up in increments to get the exact amount that you want, or you can just simply type it in. Now, the reason why I absolutely love Minerva's website is because you can scroll down and people can actually tag different projects they've made using Minerva Fabric. This feature, hands down, honestly takes out so much of the guesswork when it comes to how is this fabric going to look like once it's sewn up because you can actually see what it looks like in dresses, tops, or any sort of item so you can see exactly how it's sewn. So you can see here someone's made a top with it. If I scroll down, you can see someone's made a dress with it. And you can also see that they've tagged the sewing pattern that they use as well. Honestly, it's such a useful piece on this website and I just love how this functions. You can also see the different colorways people have sewn it with and really this helps me choose my fabric so much easier because I can literally see how it wears once it's sewn up. I wish they had this feature when I first started sewing because this would have made it so much easier. If we just go back to the sidebar, you can actually select the weight that you want to use if you want it to be knit or woven, again, if it's stretch or non-stretch and also just lots of different options to make sure you get the exact fabric that you need for the project you're working on. If I click onto threads, you can see there's so many different options for you to choose from. They also have different colors. I forgot to mention actually, if you go to a fabric and you click any one of them, they actually have an option here where you can click add the matching thread for this fabric color, which is so helpful instead of you going through and finding the thread on your own. I'll make sure to leave a link down below on all the fabric shops I show today. So the next fabric shop that I wanna share is Pound Fabrics. And this is a really great website if you want really cheap fabrics that are still pretty good quality. I personally use this website a lot if I'm doing twirls or I'm testing a sewing pattern and I need some really cheap fabric to work with. I've actually been really surprised because sometimes I bought fabric that's very cheap. I'm talking like one pound 50 a meter and it's come and I don't wanna cut into it because it's too nice. Let me show you what their website is like. So this is their website, and as you can see, it's really nice and easy to use. They have so much on here. If I go to Shop Fabric, you see all the different options that they have. If I'm specifically looking for really cheap fabric, I'll actually click the one pound fabric button. And all these pieces are normally one pound 
or around that price. As you can see, you've got one pound fabric here, one pound 20 fabric here. This is crazily 3p per meter, oh my God. This one is really cool. So this is a striped rib knit fabric. If I wanna make a toile again of a sewing pattern, I'll use a fabric like this because it looks nice and easy to use. And I actually bought this fabric the other day and it's come in the post. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So let me show you what it looks like on screen first. If I click into it, you can see it's £1.50 per metre. It was £6 and they have all these different colour options to choose from. You can click through and see what they look like. I ended up getting the yellow. Now, I always read the description when I'm shopping for fabric online and I like to just see what the composition is made out of, how much elastane or spandex content it is because that's really important if you're shopping for a specific pattern. A lot of my sewing patterns like the Leona dress and the Gia dress actually specify how much elastane or spandex content you need to sew that sewing pattern to make sure it stretches over your body nicely. So when it says a percentage, that's really helpful for you to look at when buying. So I can see this is 5% elastane, which will be good enough to sew the Leona dress. So normally you can just click through and see different images that they've put on the website. You can see they've put a ruler against the actual fabric so you can measure and see how wide the ribbing is on the fabric, that detail. It's not something I always look at, but it's definitely helpful that they've included that. Then if you scroll down, again, they have images that customers have taken and written feedback on what they've sewn. This image is actually what made me buy this fabric because I could see really clearly how it's sewn up, how it's stretched over her body. And I was like, this is a good fabric to try with. Again, scrolling along, this is a really great image. You can just see that people have sewn with it and the fact they really like it. Even feedback that it's thin but not transparent is really helpful for me to know how this is gonna perform when I wear it. So all that said and done, let me show you the fabric that came. So this is the fabric that came. As you can see, I chose the yellow version. I really love how this feels. It actually feels really good quality. I don't know what the stretch and recovery is for this type of fabric, but I really like how it feels. It's really nice and soft. If I give you a close up of the fabric, you can just see that a ribbing detail, but the amount of drape that it has is gonna be so perfect for a nice summer dress or a simple t-shirt. You can see that I can stretch the fabric. This actually has a lot of stretch and I don't know how well that's gonna recover. But again, this is really cheap. This is £1.50 a meter. So this is gonna be perfect for chest patterns with. I honestly really love this fabric. I do really like the fact that you can buy fabric for really cheap and it's good for practicing with. So you're not cutting into really expensive fabric to sew a pattern first. If you're brand new to sewing, you don't really wanna buy expensive fabric and use that to sew something with the first time because if you make any mistake, it's easy to do that with cheaper fabric first to get the fit right and then cut into more expensive fabric. So if I go back on to Pound Fabrics website, you can see there's so many different options to choose from if I go down into this menu. For example, I can go into viscose and you can see all different types of viscoses that they have. They actually have quite a different variety of prices as well. Some of them, again, are very cheap, £2.50 a metre, and then some of them are a bit more expensive, like here we go, £5.25 per metre. Another tip that I really wanted to share if you're new to buying fabric online is to choose fabrics that you've normally sewn with before. So by that, I mean, if you normally use like cottons or linens on viscose and you haven't really ever sewn any stretch fabrics before, it might be useful to order samples before you buy stretch fabric online. That's just so you can see what it feels like when you're stretching it and playing with it and even doing some really simple test stitches on it. That's not to say that you can't play around and experiment with new fabrics that you've never tried before. I just kind of mean that it's better to order samples and see how it behaves and to make sure it works for the purpose you intend it to be rather than ordering like one or two meters and it comes and you're like oh I don't really fancy sewing with something this lightweight or this heavy or this stretchy and a great example for that is the next website which is Etsy if you've ever used Etsy before, you know it's a really great website for handmade pieces and that sort of independent seller vibe. They actually have so many different fabrics as well that you can choose from. Let me show you what their website looks like. So this is the Etsy website. If I go into the search bar and I type in fabric, I can even type in cotton fabric. So this is the fabric that's come up. As you can see, there's a lot of different options for you to choose from. This one really catches my eye. I love how that looks, but you can see it has a description of what the fabric is, the price, and then also some of them actually show 
what the color variations they have in the image. Etsy is definitely one of those places you want to get samples first because you might not have ever shopped with that seller before and you want to make sure the fabric that they're selling is actually high quality. But if I just click into this one, you can see that it has a length option. So that's how many meters you want to buy. And then they also have the different colors that you can choose from. Again, you can scroll through the different images and it shows you how the fabric looks like and also further down the different color variations that they have. And again, if you scroll down, you can see different um, reviews that people have left. This one, you can see these are reviews for this specific item, which is really useful. And again, scrolling further down, you can see that people have actually taken pictures and they've shown what it looks like and what they think of it. I'm actually in the process of sewing some Indian occasion wear outfits, there's some langas, and I've actually shopped on Etsy to buy fabric for that occasion. So I typed in, I think I typed in Indian fabric. I actually think I added the word embroidered as well. And you can just see all the lovely types of fabrics that pop up. Again, you need to order samples for these types of fabrics because a lot of them will come directly from India. And I wanna make sure the fabric is actually good quality and not too lightweight. Again, you can see they've got embroidered fabric. They've also got matching fabric, which I think means the lining to go with it. And then you've got the quantity as well. If you scroll down, you can see the item details. So the width of the fabric and then the fiber that's actually used for it. But again, you can literally just find so much fabric on here. It's really, really useful if you want to choose fabric that's maybe from different independent sellers rather than big corporations. So this is what I'm talking about. This is samples that I got from an Etsy shop before I purchased from them. And this is an embroidered sort of lacy chiffon fabric. And this is for like Indian occasion wear, but you can see it's really lovely and sparkly. And they cut like small strips to see what it tastes like. They also sent me this one. Again, it's really, really delicate and pretty, but this just shows me how nice quality the actual fabric is before I actually purchase from them. In the same order of the samples, I also got them to send me this embroidered fabric. This is a viscose, but you can see how pretty it is. Oh, I love it. As you can see, it's got these really lovely little sparkles on the fabric. And it's just got such a nice amount of drape. This order was a great example of what I mean by being careful with different Etsy sellers is because I ordered four meters of this fabric and I got 3.5 meters in one continuous loop. But then they sent me half a meter or something like that as an extra piece, which was a bit annoying because I ordered four meters or something like that. And I wanted it as one continuous loop, but they, for some reason, cut a bit of it off, probably because they didn't have enough on one roll. Not a huge deal because I did order so much fabric and I knew I wouldn't use all of it, but something to look out for if you do order something like two meters and you need it to be one continuous loop, they might sometimes just send it kind of in different lengths. Love this fabric though. It's really nice quality. I think this actually came from India, but I really, really love the quality of this one. So the next fabric shop that I wanted to share with you is one called myfabrics.co.uk. I used to live in Berlin in Germany and they had a website called, I think it's Stoffer, however you pronounce that, but it was the exact same, but it was the German version. I think they're actually a German original company, but they also have a UK website. So the one that I show you now is the UK website. So when you log on, it's a really nice, clean, easy to use website. The images are really, really nice as well. As you can see, they have different categories for you to choose from down here. But normally I go up to the top and actually go into the different categories through this section. Again, I can go into dressmaking fabrics and it will show me all these different types of fabrics. The reason why I personally love My Fabrics' website is because a lot of their prints are really modern and trendy. And I've personally found My Fabrics' website, their fabric is really high quality. Every time I order from them, the fabric is really, really nice. It's really soft. And it's always what I envisioned I'd get in the post. It's never like slightly different to what I imagine. But as I scroll through, they have so many different cool, trendy types of fabric. This one is so pretty. That's a cotton poplin if I click into that. You can see it's £9.45 per meter. There's actually not much left in stock of this color, but you can see we have different options. If I click to another one, you can see this one is in stock. 
But this is what I mean, this is a really cool print and sometimes I find you can't get this type of style anywhere else. I don't know where they get their fabric from because they source really nice pieces. So like I said before, normally I don't buy fabric without having a specific purpose, but in this case, let's say I really like this fabric and I wanna buy it in general because I know I'll make something out of it. Normally I will buy two meters or 2.5 meters to cover me for most patterns. This can really vary, but if I know I'm making a summery dress, I know I won't normally need more than two, maybe 2.5 meters. So I'll normally get that amount if I'm just kind of shopping for fun. This definitely has fabrics that are a bit more expensive, but personally, it's much more worth the type. So if I go back to the fabric section, you can see they have different bestseller categories, just different fabrics in general. If I go down to viscose, they have so many different prints for you to choose from. As you can see, the prices definitely vary. They go from quite cheap, so £5.95 a meter, and then they can go all the way up to quite expensive, so £12 a meter. Sometimes they go up to like £20 a meter on here. But as you can see, the prints are so cool and different. Honestly, just really nice pieces on here. I think I'm actually gonna buy some stuff on here after this video because I didn't realize how many cool pieces they have in. But that's definitely where it gets dangerous. I honestly try to, as much as I can, buy fabric when I know what pattern I'm gonna use because otherwise I find I have a lot of wastage if I'm just buying always 2.5 meters when I might only need two meters or one and a half meters. So the last fabric shop that I wanna take you through is the New Craft Houses website. I really love their website. It's very trendy and fun and their pieces are really nice. I would say this is probably the most expensive on here, but let me show you what their website looks like. So this is New Craft Houses website. As you can see, it's really cute and pretty. If I go to the fabric section, they have different options here. So I go to fiber and I go to viscose. You can see all the different options that they have for you to choose from. I find New Craft House's fabric really, really high quality. So if I scroll down, you can see all these different types. Oh, this one's really cool. This is a pink leopard visco satin. If I click into that, you can see what the fabric looks like and how it behaves. I really like how that looks. So this is what I was talking about before. So it says 14 pounds here, but that's actually per half a meter. As you can see down here, this is the price per meter. This is 28 pounds per meter, which is very expensive. But as you can see here, it says it's X designer fabric and it just looks super, super nice to use. It says here it's perfect for dresses and tops or even bias cut skirts. So you can just tell it's very high quality, which is why the price tag is higher. So when you're shopping like this, per half a meter of fabric is what this means. So one, means 0.5 meters. So if you need one meter of fabric, you need to select two, and that is what one meter of fabric here. This is maybe a bit confusing to use, but a lot of fabric shops do operate like this. And I like the fact that it actually changes down here as you add different amounts. So that is actually much easier to use than other ones that I've seen online. But look how pretty that fabric is. If I scroll through, you can see the different images, Oh, it's loading a bit slow, but you can see the different images. And again, they've used a ruler to show you how big the print is, the scale of the print compared to the size of it. So lots of different things on here. They have kits as well. What does that mean? Oh, you can see they've got kits, bra kits. So you buy this kit and it comes with all the pieces you need to make a bra or like this one, that red lace crop top bra kit. This is actually really cool. I've not actually brought a bra kit yet. And this might be the website I try that with. This is definitely on the higher end of the shops that I've shared today. I would say this is the most expensive shop, but the quality is really, really good. Sometimes you buy fabric and it's cheaper and you can tell that it's cheaper when you're sewing with it or wearing it. So if you have like a really special project that you want to spend extra money on to make sure the fabric looks really nice and high quality, using fabric shops like this will be perfect to shop from. So those are all the five fabric shops that I normally shop from, that I really like to use, and that I personally definitely recommend. Like like I said, some of them are cheaper than others, but if you go onto any of those websites, you can normally scroll down by price and you can sort it by higher or lower, depending on how much you wanna spend. 
So that's a really helpful feature that all of these websites definitely have. I hope this video was helpful and gave you a bit of an insight on how personally I shop for fabric online. I don't always have the time to go in store now and buy fabric. And now that I live in Dorset, there aren't that many fabric shops around me. I used to live in London and obviously that was so much easier to go in store and feel different types of fabrics. I think the closest fabric shops to me at the moment are a John Lewis, which are actually really good for shopping for fabrics in person, and then also a Fabricland. Oh, and a Hobbycraft. Hobbycraft are also really great for fabrics. Let me know down in the comments if you found any of these tips useful. I'd love to know if you shop for fabric online or you prefer going in person. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you like this type of content. I am a sewing pattern designer as well. I have my own brand called Tammy Handmade and those sewing patterns are perfect if you wanna sew really easy, beginner friendly patterns that are nice and stylish and trendy. I'll leave a link down below on where you can find my patterns. But thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.